think in the next year, we're, we're going to see a lot of change. Consumers are going to see more products at the point of sale. They are going to see very positive changes in some of the emerging products, like say crypto, buy now, pay later, which are now regulated. So they'll become more acceptable to more consumers. And I, th I think the role of our mobile phones and our day-to-day -day payments activity is going to become even greater if that's possible. So there is a constant and growing demand for things to be faster, uh, but not only faster, and this is for consumers, for merchants, for uh, uh, across the, the spectrum, but also there's the need for security um, and for that to, for there to be trust in how secure uh, the process is. And the other element that needs to be addressed is also on the pricing, the commerciality of it. So speed, security, and ultimately fees and the cost of it will be the, some of the key drivers. The trends that we've seen over the last couple of years, we'd never have foreseen. You know, that's, you know, the, we said inside in the panel, the reduction in cash and the switch from cash to card, we've never foreseen it. What's going to happen over the next while? You know, it's probably going to be a continuation of card growth, probably more people using digital payments than traditional cards. Will it open bank? And I think it, an account to account payment, I think it will happen in Ireland. And I think it will happen fairly quickly. The Irish people are really quite savvy when it comes to these things. You know, it's probably wrong. Roy always quote the smoking ban and the plastic bag tax. <laughs> and how quickly we bought into those processes, how quickly we bought into the euro. Irish people will adopt the change and accept it as being the norm, but they'll do what's right for them. But I think the, the conversation around the whole cards business, whether it's dying or whether it's not dying, it all comes back to consumer choice. So there's an evolution in terms of payment acceptance and payment choices for customers. And customers will drive which payment channel they use depending on their preference and depending on um, the environment that they're in. So some will use a particular payment type online that they wouldn't use in store and vice versa, high, high end purchases versus uh, low end. So very much consumer choice will drive uh, the market and drive which acceptance and um, which payment acceptance channels are used. I thought it was interesting talking about risk and the friction. I think we, we sort of just touched on that towards the end. It would have been good to explore that a little bit more. There's this balance that we're always having between adding friction in like we have done through the recent changes with SCA and having that simple customer experience. So I think we talk a bit about at Visa a bit, a bit about smart friction and just adding friction where you want it. You probably want to have a check when you buy a holiday for five grand or something like that. You probably don't need a check when you're checking out at the supermarket. You, you can, you're happy to tap quickly for that, but you probably want a bit more protection. So one of the things that came out very strongly today was actually around the importance of not just the consumers, but all the users in the payments ecosystem and how everyone is focused in around the experience on those. I think it's one of the areas in financial services that is really, really under focus at the moment is actually around creating brilliant customer experiences, great customer journeys, and whether that's in payments or other areas of banking, we're actually seeing how fintechs are helping banks and other players actually change the face of consumer experience. Whether that's actually paying with your card in a shop, paying online through a digital channel, the likes of buy now, pay later, whether it's cash payments, etc. All of those options are there for customers. And I think the exciting thing that's happening is actually all of those options will remain for customers and the consumer will drive what the future of the industry looks like.